the first mass protest of 2024 and the UK's seventh national demo since the start of Israel's war on Gaza was another enormous gathering. More than an hour after the head of the march had begun moving, the back of the demonstration had not yet passed the starting point. We're here today to show that even though it's a new year, um, we have not forgotten Palestine. Palestinians have been um, fighting for our liberation for 100 years and we're ready to fight this year and for 100 more years um, until Palestine is free. People have come from all yeah. over the UK. We've seen a group from Abergavenny, that's 150 miles to the west of here in Wales. We've also seen people from Lincoln in the east, Newcastle in the north and, and Brighton on the south coast uh, as well. The sentiment here very clearly ceasefire now. If you see what's happening in Gaza, there's no question about why you have to. You have to show solidarity. Along the route, the marchers were joined by little Amal, a three and a half meter tall puppet created in solidarity with the child refugees of the Syrian war, now lending support to the children killed, wounded and displaced by the Gaza war. It was a broad spectrum of anti-war, pro-Palestinian sentiment. Among them, British Jewish groups appalled at the Israeli government's actions, veteran campaigners alongside young activists, and several speakers praised South Africa's efforts to bring Israel to the International Court of Justice. Eyes now are on the ICJ, the International Court of Justice, but the only place that we have never been failing is the people, and this is the power of the people. People are coming out to demand one thing, that the government listen, there must be a ceasefire, that ceasefire has to be now, immediate, permanent and comprehensive. Uh, the circumstances on the ground in Gaza are horrendous and we need action now, so that's the message that's been delivered at these demonstrations today. There is a sense that international public opinion is having an impact, is putting irresistible political pressure on international leaders and is forcing even Israel's allies to question their positions. And while the carnage continues, the calls for a ceasefire will only get louder. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, London. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.